everyone and welcome to another episode of Monkey Run Reviews. Today we have the Vixing Bluetooth FM transmitter. This thing can auto scan for stations. It's got a 1.8 inch color screen on it. It can allow for hands-free calling and it's got a built-in quick charge 3.0 USB port on it for charging your phones that can use the quick charge. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So the first thing I notice is this box is pretty light. Uh, upon opening it, there is a holder for the charger here. So we can take that out and see it. It's really small. This is the whole thing right here. This plugs into the cigarette adapter in your car. Here are two USB ports, that quick charge 3.0 I was mentioning, and a uh, standard 5 volt 2.4 amp here on the bottom. This part plugs right into the car, and then here is the screen with all your controls. Now you can angle it, it's got a gooseneck on it. And here on the side, you'll see a auxiliary port. There is a USB port here on the side, which is not for charging. That is for music on a stick. And then up here, there is an SD card slot on the top. You got your screen and you got a control. It's a uh, turn knob here. You can also push it with a button and then there's buttons around it. Um, this is how you'll do your volume up, your volume down, your connecting to your phones, your volume control, all your standard features right here in these five buttons and knob. On the other side of this is the auxiliary cable. So you can actually plug your phone's uh, headphone jack into here and then this here into the side and you can listen to what's on your phone that way or on an iPod or any other MP3 player. Um, or you can sync with Bluetooth with this. What else is in this box? There's a uh, thanks for purchasing card. There is a user manual. And then a Bluetooth FM transmitter fact here. So everything you'll need to know is in these. But uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this in and see how this works. All right, so I'm back. Now, rather than going into the car and getting the camera and me all cramped into a space, I got this 110 volt to 12 volt adapter here. So we're just going to use this. Uh, to act like it's the car cigarette lighter adapter. So we're just going to take this and plug it in. And what's going to happen is it powers up. And it's got a lot of information on it already. So on the top, it's got a blue flashing Bluetooth symbol, which means it's wanting to pair. Uh, it's got a play symbol, a speaker symbol at 28. So it's telling me what the volume level is. And then it's showing me a little picture of a radio with 108.0. So that's the station that this is paired with for being an FM transmitter. Uh, it says Bluetooth and gives me some numbers unconnected. So that's uh, for when I'm syncing, it's going to tell me the name there. And then down here, that's what's really nice is it's actually showing me that there's 15.2 volts. So that's what this is putting out. So basically, when you have this plug in your car, this is showing you what the voltage of your car battery is. So if that's something you need to pay attention to, it's right there on there as well. So you'll know if you're draining it, if it's getting low, you know, anything that you may want that information for, it's down there. So we're going to go ahead and just sync my phone to this real fast. So I'm going to open up my phone, going to go into the Bluetooth settings. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to search for device. And there it is. So I'm just going to connect that. It says pairing. Oh, and we are now connected. It even has the name of my phone written right here on here to show that it's connected. And the Bluetooth symbol has stopped flashing. So all the buttons on here have their normal mode, but each one also has a sub mode to it. So this knob is your volume. So when you turn it, you can see the numbers change on there. Um, it goes all the way up to 30 and down to zero. So the CHA, you press that and it's going to show you that right now it's 100.8. That's what channel this is going to be FM transmitting on. And now you can use the forward and the back button and that'll actually change the uh, station that it's going to be using. So we'll press it again. It says 100.8 and if I hit back, now it says 100.7. If I hit forward, it goes to 100.9. So that's how you can do that. But now if you hit the CHA again, it's going to actually go through and search for the next available station that it thinks that you can use. And you can actually just keep hitting that until you can find a station that works for you. So you can do it automatically or you can do it manually. This button over here, this M button, it is your menu button. So if you press this right now, it's going to go to aux in because it's wanting to use this as the next input. And if you hit it again, it takes a few seconds. It goes back to Bluetooth mode. So now if we actually put in a USB stick that has music in it, 
just like that. It loads in the USB, there's some songs, but if I hit M, it now adds the USB into the cycle. So there's Bluetooth, there's the aux in, and then right again, it goes into the USB. So now that we're in USB and it's playing, these buttons now skip through the tracks. So that's the next song, the next song, next song, or even the previous song. So again, this is the volume knob, but now while it's playing music, if I press it, it pauses it. And if I press it again, it'll play. Now I have noticed that every once in a while, when I press it, it turns the volume up one, so you just gotta be careful with how you press it. So like I said, there's a little bit of a delay and it's showing you the volume when you hit it. I think at the angle I'm doing it, like if I look at this and do it, it went right to pause. If I do it again, it went right to play. So I guess at the angle, I'm kind of twisting a little bit. But when I'm doing it right in front of me, it's going pause, play without showing me the volume. Also, if this M, if you hold it down for a few seconds, it brings in another menu. Here it says folder, play mode, and EQ mode. So in folder, whoops, timed out on me. You now use the volume controls to go up and down, and then you push in on it to enter. So folder lets you choose the folders on your USB stick that you're looking for. Play mode, we'll select that. Now it says repeat all, repeat folder, repeat once, and random. So this is telling you how you want your folder to be played. And we'll go back into it one more time. We have EQ mode. You got normal, classical, pop, rock, and jazz. Once again, you use the volume control to select, and then you press the uh, call button to select it. So once again, this has been Monkey Round Reviews with the Vixing Bluetooth FM transmitter. If you've used one of these in the past, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Hmm? Hmm.